Around 30,000 U.S. soldiers have been injured in the war in Iraq. Garth Stewart is a former army specialist who lost his left leg to a landmine in Baghdad. Broke my foot real bad, lost my big toe. It was pretty much fine, but then infection set in. These days, the nation's military amputee wards are busier than usual helping wounded soldiers recuperate. One revolutionary solution is intelligent, computerized, lower body prostheses, aka legs with brains. War has been friendly to the field of prosthetics. It's one example of military investment driving technological investments for good or for ill. And it's not the only one. The atom bomb projects in World War II gave us nuclear power. Cold War communications research gave us the internet. A few years ago, lower body prostheses were just rigid metal pylons and passive spring feet that made walking much more stressful and awkward. Enter Hugh Herr, a prosthesis designer at MIT who lost both of his legs in a climbing accident as a teen, and who has the interesting distinction of being able to test his systems on himself. Stewart was Herr's test subject in early 2007. On a normal prosthesis, your hip has to do all the work to drag your foot forward. The powered ankle gives you a push off when you take a step, kind of propelling it almost walks itself in a way. His latest designs for both ankles and knees have sensors, motors, and tiny embedded computers. Prosthesis is actually robotic. It makes a decision about how the prosthesis should move and the prosthesis moves. Her's ankle design reduces back strain and makes walking a more natural act. Walter Reed Army Hospital in Washington, D.C. now routinely issues robotic knees and ankles. And in coming years, it might adopt a new process called osteointegration that attaches those knees and ankles directly to amputees' residual limbs, effectively fusing flesh and machines into one seamless whole. It signals how humans and machines are merging in increasingly intimate ways. I believe in, in this century uh, we will largely, through advances in technology, we will largely eliminate uh, human disability. Long after the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are over, people all over the world might be benefiting from the robotic limbs that, paradoxically, those bloody conflicts made necessary.